Our Computex 2019 coverage is made possible thanks to Corsair, Patriot, EK, Titra, and Viper Gaming. Hey everyone, Andy Ruffell from eTechnics.com. We're here at the uh, Team Group uh, booth and they're showing off quite a few cool little things here. So uh, the first thing that I want to show you is a 2.5 inch SSD. Now when you actually look at this, uh, when the screen, I say the screen's not on, it's just got kind of like a mirror finish to it. But as you can see when it's all lit up with the addressable RGB lighting, it kind of does look a little bit like an LCD screen, but I'll tell you now it's actually not. It's a really cool technology behind this and the way that it works. It's called the Delta Max. It's going to be coming in various sizes. Uh, all the way from 250 gig up to 2 terabyte. Speeds obviously being SATA uh, controlled is 560 megabytes a second and 510 megabytes a second. Probably looking around July time for this one, but a really cool product nonetheless. Moving down, kind of keeping with the same theme and the mirror finish, we've got the memory. So this is the T-Force Extreme ARGB. So of course, ARGB is addressable RGB, but again, when it's off, you can see kind of, it, it just looks very premium and uh, just a great looking product in general if you're not after the RGB aspects. Uh, in terms of the capacity, you're looking at a 16 gigabyte kit, so two times eight gig modules, and speeds all the way up to a blistering fast 4,800 megahertz. Now, again, when it is turned on, you can see that it looks very, very nice. And I am a fan of RGB memory, and I don't know, I kind of prefer it when it's quite subtle, and I think that's what they've kind of done here. They have made it very subtle, and as we move around to the system, you can kind of see how it would actually look in a system environment. So we have the T-Force memory here, the extreme memory, and then also the Delta Max SSD. Uh, another cool thing that they've actually done with this is uh, a, a kind of prototype design on the fan, which has the T-Force logo on there. It looks really, really cool. Uh, there is also a hub here as well, and we will talk about that a little bit sort of further down uh, as we go around the booth. So let's move over to there. So the next product that they're showcasing is this little wonder right here. So this is the T-Force Cardia Liquid. So this is an M.2 PCI Express SSD. So uh, this looks, firstly, absolutely amazing. The fact that you can get it in a variety of colors. They did actually have a fluke machine showing us the temperature. And uh, the temperature of the graphics card was actually hotter uh, than the temperature of this. It was actually quite cool. I think it came in about 40 degrees Celsius. So really, really cool. Again, we've got the Delta Max built up in this system. And uh, we've got some T-Force memory. But as you can see, it does look amazing especially in the variety of colors that you can get capacity wise we're looking at 256 gigabyte all the way up to one terabyte and because it is an NVMe PCI Express SSD speeds are gonna again be blistering fast looking at 3400 megabytes per second and 3000 megabytes per second availability hopefully sort of anytime between kind of July and the start of Q3 another cool thing with this build that they have going here in the uh, Cougar Conquer is the fact that by the looks of it it's running Fanta so there you go. Let's move on to the next bit and I'll show you uh, a few other cool things that Team Group have got here at Computex. So the next product up here is the hub that I sort of showed you a little bit back there. So uh, this is actually called the T-Force Captain RGB Control Box. So uh, obviously you've seen us use the, uh, the Delta SSDs before with their addressable RGB lighting and it's great if you have the facility to do so because obviously you will need uh, the right connections on your motherboard. Sometimes if you want to have say more than one of these drives or you know you might want up to I don't know, four drives for instance you are going to have, uh, I guess, a little bit of a struggle with connecting them all to your motherboard, unless you have a really high-end motherboard that's going to have all of the connections necessary. So what they've brought out is the Captain RGB control box. Everything can kind of plug into there. And uh, with that, obviously, it allows you to connect all your SSDs to that, uh, as well as other things. So uh, obviously, 5-volt addressable RGB, and there is uh, also um, a signal output for a 12-volt uh, RGB on there as well. Now, another a couple of things here. We have the T-Force Vulcan SSD. This is just a, a SATA SSD, uh, but it's using a really nice uh, sort of housing for the enclosure, so it's really, really lightweight, but still very durable. Speeds on that, 560 megabyte seconds and 510, with capacities from 250 gig all the way up to 2 terabyte. Now, SSDs, obviously, on the SATA front, yeah, it's kind of been done to death a little bit, but what we've got here is some of the uh, M.2 PCI Express SSDs. So we've got the uh, Gen 3 that we've kind of, you know, seen about the block a little bit, but now with X570, we've got Gen 4. So so speeds on this are going to be 3,800 megabytes a second and 3,200 megabytes a second with capacities from 256 all the way up to one terabyte. 
as we kind of move further down, there's a lot more going on here. So uh, essentially, we've got some external devices, including an RGB USB stick. And while the RGB, I guess a lot of people consider a gimmick, it actually has a purpose. So uh, when, for instance, you only have a certain percentage of your capacity left, it will shine a certain color. I believe it's blue. When you have more, it will go kind of orange. So it does actually give you indications uh, on the drive itself as to a little bit of information about what's going on with the drive without you having to plug it into, say, a computer and checking it. There's also uh, an external um, uh, drive up here as well, which does have addressable lighting on it, but you can change uh, through a few, kind of a few uh, different lighting patterns depending on sort of, you know, the look that you're going for. Other than that, we kind of have our non-RGB stuff here as well. The main highlight of this is obviously the SODIM memory. So they have 32 gig kits comprising of two 16 uh, gig modules, uh, 2666 megahertz. Looks really nice as well with the nice T-Force heat spreader on there. We also have the Extreme DDR4 uh, modules up here. So very similar to the RGB ones that we saw up there, we're blistering fast speeds of 4800 megahertz. Capacity coming in at obviously 16 gig because those speeds, you're not really gonna get that with four modules. So there are a few other things over there. So just uh, wanna go through them, so let's move over there. So the last things I really want to talk about, and these are very, very unique. They kind of have, I guess, a little bit of a different message uh, and a different product segment to the rest of the stuff that we've seen. You know, we've seen addressable RGB and that. This kind of looks a little bit more professional. So what we've actually got is uh, some USB flash drives, but with a slightly different design to them. So this one actually has a, a slight sort of, uh, I guess, terror on it. So when you do get your bottle of wine out uh, at the end of the sort of, you know, work day, you can tear off that and then use the corkscrew to actually take the cork out, but then still use it as a USB drive. A little bit crazy, I know, but there you go. Speeds, uh, sorry, capacity up to 128 gigabyte in size with speeds up to uh, 90 and 35 megabytes a second. Other than that, we have kind of for the more professional look, we have essentially it's a protractor. We all used to use these at school, and as you can see, it does have fully moving parts on there as well as what looks like a little magnifying glass. Capacity on this again up to 128 gig uh, with the same speeds, 90 and 35. Uh, they have actually got kind of this, I guess, plasticky type one that we'd normally kind of expect on a protractor, but they also have a metal one as well. But be careful, it is quite sharp. Now, they've actually given us one of these ones as a media kit, 32 gig in size. This, kind of, again, comes up to 128 gig and is a bottle opener. I like a good beer every now and again, well, actually all the time, so this is going to come in really handy for me. I can do my work on it and then crack open a beer at the end of the day. Other than that, the last thing that I kind of really want to talk about are external drives. So these are the PD-1000, so two slightly different form factors with it. Size capacity-wise, we're looking at 240 gig up to 960 gigabytes, and speeds are going to be 950 megabytes a second both ways. Uh, and the beauty of it really is they want to make sure that you know, you're covered in every eventuality with this. So they've got Thor's hammer, which obviously weighs, well, a ton, or however much uh, and with it uh, it means that you know it can withstand uh, sort of you know large weight so if it dropped out your pocket and a car drove over it you'd be fine if it got sort of dirty and dusty inside you know some sand and things like that you will be fine and even if it got wet it is IP66 rated so there you go guys there's a lot of other stuff kind of going on with uh, with team group they're, they're showing off probably the most products we've seen so far at Computex. They've got quite a diverse range of what's going on, from USB to drives to memory and everything in between. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know exactly what to do. And remember to check out the rest of our Computex 2019 coverage here in Taipei, Taiwan. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Cheers.